Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be doing another story time video. Um, but it's going to be um, uh, in a game again. Just like, not a story game obviously, just a little runner game. And, um, well that's not what the full game's based on, but I might put the game, de what the game's called in the description. But, um, so if you want to see, check that out. But, um, so yeah, what I'm going to be talking about today is pets. Now, like, if you've ever had a pet, you'll know that it's a little snuggly monster and you love them, right? So, a lot of people are dog people over cat people. I don't know why that is, I just do know a lot of cat people, uh, the dog people more than cat people. But uh, I, I kind of like both, because I'm kind of more of a cat person, some people might absolutely hate me for that. But um, I know I'm going to be talking about the pets I've had, I've only had two though, but uh, they're both cats, <laughs> but, uh, one I've currently got right now. But um, the first one I'm going to be talking about is a cat I had called uh, Leo. Now this cat was like, I had it before I was even freaking born. Like, well, I didn't. I, well, that means I didn't have it then. Uh, I basically, my family had it before I was even born, and apparently it was from a family who couldn't have it anymore because they were, I think they were like full-time workers or something and uh, they were t working too long to take care of the cat and everything so they just sold it to us. Now this cat was not really ill, kinda ill, uh, but well a bit ill but like at the start it wasn't that bad but then it, uh, he was like um, uh, pretty, I think, had some conditions with him when we got him. But I'm going to be talking about some funny things that we, we did when he was uh, when he was alive. <laughs> Basically, I've got this video on uh, my mom's phone. I'm not actually. I don't know how to put it up on like the screen. So. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show it, but what basically happened is, it was like, I, <laughs> the, uh, my cat was on the uh, was on the floor about to, um, after a crap, let's just say, and um, was about to freaking destroy his butt and wipe it all over the floor. Now, you know, as mums go, they don't really like crap being on the floor, do they? Like, even crap as in not literal crap, I mean crap as in freaking, you know, like, your game consoles and video games and toys and pop figures. Yeah, they don't like crap in general being on the floor. So, as soon as I saw, I was pretty young at the time, I pulled out my mum's phone to film it, and my mum came through and said, no Leo, no Leo, don't wipe your butt on the floor. And I was just sitting there, like she must have been so angry at me, like I was just sitting there, absolutely giggling my butt off at this, at my cat, freaking wiping his crappy butt all over the floor. Now, um, <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a pretty, that's kind of like toilet humour story. <laughs> um, and then all, and the whole way through it was just my mum going, no, no, and me laughing. And the funny thing is, my cat literally was doing it. And when she said no, my cat just stopped, looked up at her, as if to say, what do you want? And then she, and my mum must have thought, oh, "Goody, stop now!" Then he just went, "Oh, I guess she wants nothing," and just continued to do it. So he just looked, but he just stayed still, looked back up, and then just continued doing it. Like for God's sake, <laughs> it was one of the funniest things. Uh, he did a lot of funny things, but uh, he sadly. We had to sort of put him to sleep because he had kind of ish, ish, 
problems and stuff and you don't want to put them through that kind of stuff but enough of the sad talk what we we've now got a cat uh, called uh, Missy she's a she obviously if you listen to the name if you ha if you actually of I don't know what I was gonna say but you, you you can obviously tell that it's a she well my cat is a she not it <laughs> it um but she um we've only had her for a bit of time like it was at the kind of like start of the year we, th this year we got her but um and we didn't oh, i've never actually had a kitten before i've never actually raised a cat from when it was a kitten i've only seen a cat when it was an adult our cat's kind of in cat years not got she's not actually got that she's not got any like hell proper health problems the only time it's a health problem is when a bit of hair goes into her eye and her eyes start watering that's that's the only type of health problem she has but it's not really a health problem um but um the uh, missy uh, a couple of funny things we've had with her is this isn't really funny but um it's just a story when we first got her our couch was like a bit in front so her wall was a bit far away from our couch and the only thing she would do is just like whenever we came towards her she would run behind the couch because we got her from like previous owners but so and, and it was sad because they didn't there was two kids there and they were sad that she was getting taken away and they were giving their goodbyes and everything. They only had it for a short period of time but it's because they, they had two cats and Missy didn't get along with the other one, that's why we need to get it. But she had been moved now to three houses. She started off in one and then those people we got off from got it from them and then we got it off from them like oh my. So whenever at the start of when we had her whenever the door, it was like she was traumatised because freaking when Whenever the door opened, she would just run behind the couch. Or even if we came towards her too close, she would probably run behind the couch, right? But as months, and we were like, oh, she's not that friendly. But we felt bad talking about how we didn't really like her because she wasn't that friendly. We felt bad saying that. So we um, automatic, we just continued with uh, uh, having her. And then she started to come out of her shell a little bit. She uh, started kind of getting used to the house because how long we've had her and she was like, yeah, they're probably not going to sell me at this point and also I just, I don't care. So whenever we, br and also when it, now whenever we brush her, she just has the audacity to bite us and now, jeez, okay, messy, we don't have to be so mad about it, but yeah, that's what it's kind of like now, we have to take her to a groomer because she... Uh, she's a long-haired Persian and her hair is freaking giant. She looks like a freaking fuzzball. So, uh, <laughs> um, um, uh, so, and like whenever you try and brush her, she gets so many mats that she just will hate it. So we just need to take her to a groomer that's like freaking 15 minutes. Well, not 15 minutes because that's actually short. I don't know why I said 15 minutes. The ages away. I don't know where it is actually. I think it might be. I don't know. I need to ask my mum for that. But um, uh, it's the it's um quite quite far away because we had to bring her to the vet to get her groomed originally, and it was like. <laughs> The vets must have been like, just go to a freaking groomer, you idiot. But the one we, the one we called was the first one we called was the one the um, the last owners recommended to us. But whenever we called them, they wouldn't freaking call back. So yeah, um, shame on you, unnamed vet, unnamed groomer that I'm not gonna say for kind of you know. I don't really want them to people to attack. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want our name. Also, because we may be copyright. I don't know. But it was kind of annoying. But we were told to do that and to go to that one, and we weren't able to call it. So we have to freaking drive to a family-owned business place. Um, to get her groomed and it's so cute this one we take her to because she freaking after she's been groomed she's in her little case on the on 
on the shelf as if she's being sold. Like, it's so cute. Uh, but, yeah. That's kind of some funny stuff about Missy. But she likes to... She like sometimes likes tummy rubs, but, like, bro, if you... If you go too much, she has a there's a fine line between too much belly rubs and and all right belly rubs. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like it's kind of funny. She's kind of funny. She's really cute. But at the start, for some reason, she was really friendly with me at the start. But she still is. But it's like. She was scared, she's still the same, but she was scared of everybody in the house, kind of, mm, but not really me. Well, that's kind of not true, it's when she first started getting out of her shell, but it's when she first started. She was fully alright with, well, not fully, but like, kind of alright with me, but she's a, a good cat. But another thing about pets is... I'm not scared of dogs, but I kind of have a slight, I get on easy with a dog, like if it's too close to me, I just keep on thinking it's going to jump on me or do something, I don't know what goes through my head, I just, um, I've got, I've, I'm smooth brain, I've not got smart boy wrinkles, alright, sorry, but, <laughs> yeah, but that's all there really is. To, it's not really a story time video, but it's just talking about a thing. Usually people would animate with this sort of stuff, but one, I don't have a freaking animating tablet, and two, it's going to be freaking hard to, 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 to... I'm not good at art, so I'm just going to do gameplay over it. So, because I'm half decent at video games. So, yeah, so see you guys later. Bye.